Good Friday. We call it Good Friday, of course, because of the powerful, transformative effect of Jesus' death on our behalf. But the historic day itself, in terms of the experience of Jesus, was horrible and gruesome. The details of His flogging and His crucifixion um, are actually not, not developed in the New Testament, I think because they are so gruesome. They are certainly pointed to. Jesus, at probably the worst moment of His agony and pain, cried out, quoting Psalm 22, the cry of the forsaken psalmist, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And yet, in the midst of that lament, citing that powerful psalm, Jesus still uses the cry of covenant trust. This is His God, our God, the God of Israel, the God of all the earth. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? In that distress and agony, God brought out the forgiveness of all the earth through faith in Christ. We are going through challenging and difficult days. This coronavirus, this pandemic, of course, is, is something that we cannot lightly uh, uh, see past. We, we believe there is an end in sight. In fact, we trust God that there is an end in sight. And yet, at the moment, these are terrible, difficult, challenging days. The, the economic fallout, just to name one example, um, in addition to the physical and health-related fallout for so many, the economic fallout is, is devastating for all, and, and we have to face that. We have to accept it. We have to deal with reality, and it's true, it's true for HBU. As well as we are doing, as grateful as we are for all those who are working so hard in telecommuting, yet uh, for the university, as for businesses everywhere and families everywhere, uh, there, there, is, there, is, uh, there is a fallout. There is a challenge. There are difficult days that we have to face. And yet, we face them in trust, just like our Lord who cried out, My God, my God. So we trust the God who hears our prayers, who hears our lamentations. The last word, of course, is never the word of despair. At the end of Psalm 22, the psalmist knows that he can trust God and he gives God thanks because God has heard his prayer. And we know uh, that... Um, Good Friday, the death of Jesus was answered, overturned, uh, transformed, and reinterpreted by the resurrection of Jesus. And so uh, we see that our God will deliver us from the, these days of devastation, not only through, through His own grace and mercy, but through the power of the resurrecting uh, experience of Jesus. One day our entire earth will be transformed. But for now, uh, we live in uh, the lament, uh, the, uh, the pain, the agony uh, of Good Friday. And yet, we live as a people of hope. God bless you on this day.